Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Hannah. I'm a flight attendant for a major US airline and I take you guys along on my trips. I got called this morning for a three day. It is a 113. So our last day is going to be the longest day, but honestly, as long as it goes according to plan, that won't even bother me. My last couple trips have been just chaos. I've had a lot of delays, a lot of really bad turbulence. I had a passenger assault another passenger on my last trip. We also had to call medics on my last trip. So I just like need a break from the chaos, especially when you're on reserve. Like I don't sleep well when I'm on reserve. So I'm already tired for most of the month because I'm just not sleeping as much as I normally do. And then to add the mental exhaustion on top of that, can make reserve a doozy. So I'm just hoping that this trip goes according to plan. I'm praying everything goes smoothly because that would be a nice break from the chaos that I have been having to deal with lately. But I'm really early today. It is 1249 and my sign in is not until 141. So I've got tons of time to kill, but I'm going to go ahead and go to into the airport. I can just chill in the crew room for a little bit if I need to maybe do some modules for CQ that I have coming up next month, but let's go get into the airport and get this three day started. So this is a rare sighting, but we had an empty C terminal on my way to the crew room. Ended up reading and just having a snack while I was down there because I didn't have time to start my modules. Then I made my way to Miami. We left two minutes early and ended up getting in 21 minutes early. So it was a great way to start the trip. We just got to the hotel, which I'm gonna show you this hotel because it's very like different from a lot of other hotels that we stay in most of them i feel like are basically the same but this one has some different things about it which help like make you remember it so if you've been watching my channel for a while i know i've put this hotel on here before but if you're new i'm gonna show you so you can see all the fun things about this hotel room so first things first it is really big there is a ton of space in this little hotel room. Then they have the beds where you can pump up the air to make it like softer or firmer, depending on what you like, which a lot of hotels do not have. Um, and then you have such a huge like bathroom area. The shower is interesting because it's see-through, but there's also like a ton of different shower heads. You have the one on the ceiling, the other one on the ceiling, and then you have like all these <laughs> shower heads, like a handheld, like you have all the options that you may need. A fun little chair to sit in if you uh, need to sit in there. They put their shampoo in their little like, these fancy little bottles. Um, there's two toilets. One of them is a bidet, I think is how you say that. Also, there's just a phone in the potty area. Like, why would you need that? I don't know. Maybe in case you have an accident. And then you have this whole long lounge area. So if you ever want to hang out with the crew for a little bit or something before you go somewhere, y'all can all just sit right here. There's tons of space for people. So such a fun, interesting, <laughs> nice little hotel. But it is 5.30. I don't really have any plans for this layover. I'm going to try to get out tomorrow because that's our longer one. And really the only thing around this hotel is like food stuff. And I don't need to get food because I brought my own. So I think I'm going to go to the gym and work out for a little bit. And then come back, maybe watch some TV or read a little bit. And then just chill, go to bed. I didn't sleep good last night um, because for those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that when I'm on reserve, I set my alarm like every hour when I'm on reserve to make sure I'm not about to be called. And for those of you who are not familiar with my channel, um, I do that because I live an hour and a half away from the airport. So we get two hours, um, at least call out time. So I just always have to make sure that they're not giving me that exact two hours. And if they are, I need to be ready. So that's why I set my alarm to just make sure I'm not about to be called. And if I am about to be called, then I'll get up and start getting ready. So I just don't sleep very good on reserve. So I think I'm gonna go work out. I'll put some dinner in my um, Hot Logic and just have a pretty chill layover today. Tomorrow, I'll try to go out and do some more adventurous things, but 
don't think that's in the cards for tonight. At the gym, I just did some weight stuff and then ended up running on the treadmill, but they had a pretty decent gym for a hotel, so that was nice. Also, when I got back to the hotel room, I realized that you can put down a shade for the shower if you want. I've never noticed that before, and I've stayed at the hotel multiple times. But after I showered, I ate my dinner and then watched some of The Marvelous Miss Maisel. Yes, I'm still watching that show, but I'm on the final season, so I only have a couple episodes left and maybe I'll be finished soon. Good morning, it is day two, only one leg again today, but it is van time, so we gotta go downstairs and catch that van real quick. Day one, we were on a 737, but day two, we were back on the 321. Thank goodness the majority of the trip was on that plane. It's just such an easier plane to work with. I feel like boarding into planning goes so much smoother and it's just more roomier or something, I don't know. But we did our one leg day two. It was Miami to Las Vegas, which sometimes can be a rowdy crowd. So I wasn't sure how that flight was going to go, but it was a morning flight. So I think that made it a little bit more chill because it was really easy. Nobody was crazy. The drinking was to a minimum, which we love on flights. Um, but we ended up leaving three minutes early out of Miami and got in about 20 minutes early. So it was another great day of flying we just got to the hotel and i'm a little bummed because my original plan was to lay out for a little while at the pool and then maybe just go somewhere and watch the men's um college basketball championship tonight but it's cold outside like not like freezing cold but not warm enough to sit at the pool it's only 63 degrees and it's windy so 63 in South Carolina is so much different than 63 in Vegas because it's just dry. So it doesn't feel like it's that hot. Um, so yeah, now I'm like, I don't know what to do. I looked into going to some shows tonight, but I also would probably rather watch the basketball game. Um, also, our van time is so early tomorrow and all the shows don't start till seven or later. And I'm going to need to be in the bed around that time. Like I can stay up and watch the men's game because I'll at least be probably around the hotel. If I go all the way to the strip, I'm going to have to Uber back. So I probably wouldn't get back to the hotel till like 930 at the earliest. And then by the time I, you know, wash my face and get ready for bed and all that, I'd probably be like 10 or 11. And then I'm going to have to be getting up at four in the morning. So I'm just like, I don't know if I want to do all that. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to try to figure out what I want to do because this is our long layover. I don't just want to stay in the hotel room all day. But Vegas is one of those layovers for me where when I'm by myself, it's really hard for me to be motivated to want to go out and do because I don't really, I don't know, the Vegas, like there's things to do in Vegas, but I just have way more fun when I'm with people as opposed to being by myself. Like there are other layovers where I can have a ton of fun by myself. Vegas is just one of those that, I don't know. I never really know what to do here. So yeah, we're gonna change clothes and try to figure that out. And we'll see where we go from here. I ended up going right out. I was a little hungry, so I stopped at Nacho Daddy first, which has really good nachos and margaritas. So I had that and then decided to just walk my way back to my hotel. It was about a two mile walk. So I hit some of the hotels on my way back just to kind of break it up. But I went to the Bellagio first, which they have a botanical garden in their main hotel lobby that is free to go check out. I would highly recommend. They change it throughout the seasons. And so I'd never seen their spring one. So that was exciting to walk in and see a brand new display now I don't know if this is the display they do every time or if every spring they change it to something different I'm not sure after that I walked into the Venetian which is another really pretty hotel and has some cool things throughout that you can see and then when I finally got back to the hotel I did my devotion because I had not done that for the day and then I went ahead and got ready for bed because it was around like four o'clock I ate my mozzarella sticks that I had in my Hot Logic and then watched the men's basketball tournament. I ended up watching the first half and then fell asleep during halftime. I woke up 
with like four minutes left in the game and was like, oh, this is over. So then I went back to bed because I knew day three was gonna be a long day. Good morning, guys. It is day three and it is go home day, but it is a very long go home day. Almost 11 hour due today and it is time to get it started. So let's go start leg number one. The Vegas airport does not feel like an airport to me. It feels more like a shopping mall, but day three, our first two legs were on the 321neo, which is different from our other 321s because instead of four door exits, it has three door exits and then one window exit. So my jump seat is actually at the front instead of in the middle as the three. But we made our way to Phoenix. It was a quick flight, but once we got there, that airport was insane because the men's tournament had just been there. So it was packed out crazy. I'd never seen it that crazy before. So we hid in the room for a minute. After that, we made our way to DC. This was the longest flight of the day. So it was nice to go ahead and get it over with on our second leg instead of our last leg. We, so far for the day, had left early and gotten in early on both of our flights. Of course, once we got to DC, we had to be delayed, not by much. We only ended up leaving a minute late because of some maintenance issues. The cargo door wouldn't open, so just took them a minute to get that open. Once they got it open, we were able to leave, but there were some flow issues in Charlotte, so we got in 15 minutes late. That trip actually went pretty smoothly, thank goodness, especially today, which could have been really bad if it had gone badly. We just had that little bit of maintenance there at the end, but it didn't cause too many issues, so... We love that. It was a good little reset from the craziness I had dealt with in my past couple trips. I go back on call tomorrow, but not until noon, so I'll be able to sleep in a little bit. It's eight, almost 8.15, so I'll get home around 9.45, 10 o'clock, depending on traffic, which is hit or miss this time of the evening. Sometimes there's nobody on the road and then other times they have parts of the road shut down because they're doing construction and I get stuck with all the transfer trucks and it takes forever. So we'll see um, how long it takes me to get home. I'm hoping that they don't call me tomorrow. Usually when you go on call that late and you're only good for one day, which is me, um, you don't get used. So fingers crossed I get a day off. After that, I'll be off for three days. So hopefully I just get that extra little day in there. Um, but yeah, as always, any questions, comments, whatever, put them in the comments below. So I know before I took my hiatus, I was telling you guys I was going to do a live <laughs> video. I kind of remembered that during this trip, I was like, oh yeah, I was supposed to be doing a live and never got to that. So I'm going to try to plan that for real this time. Um, and I'll let you know when we can do that and chat and get to know some of the new people that have subscribed to the channel. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.